All right, I'm going to show you how you can solve a system of linear equations in MathCAD using some basic matrix algebra. But I'm going to assume that uh, you are a new user to MathCAD and so you don't know anything about it yet. So let me just give you a quick little um, introduction here. There are uh, toolbars that um, show up. Oh, rats, this is beyond the screen. Let's see if you can see it here. There we go. See different standard toolbars that you can turn on and off. Uh, you really want the math toolbar here, and then what will happen is, let me stick this back over on screen, if you have the math toolbar, you can pull up a number of other toolbars, okay, and you can, you can dock them or undock them and so forth. All right, so the one I'm going to use um, in this tutorial is going to be the, this calculator toolbar and then the matrix toolbar. <clears throat> Before we do the matrix uh, algebra, let me just tell you a little bit about how we assign values in MathCAD. If I wanted to find a value x, or define x to be equal to 2, I do, you would think you just go x and then the equal sign, 2, but that's not uh, what you do. You look over here on the calculator palette and you notice there are two different types of equals here. This is what you would recognize as equal, but then when you, let me bring it up here, the little context that pops up says evaluate numerically and the shortcut is shown to just be the equal sign. Over here this is definition and the shortcut is the colon. So when you want to define or you want to assign a value to a variable x you're actually defining x to be equal to, to, to a number. So you need to press the colon not the equal. If I were to press equal in fact it doesn't it doesn't have any way to, it has no definition of x, so if I press equal, it actually overrides what I have asked, and it assumes that what I meant to press was colon, in other words, define. So let's say I define x to be equal to 2. Now if I go, if I type 2 times x, and I want to know what 2 times x is, in this case, I would press the equal sign. So instead of, I'll press this is equal to, so this is equivalent to press and equal, and now it evaluates it. If I had done 3 times x and I pressed the semicolon or the colon, um, it would it would not like this, okay? It would complain. A name is required here. I've got to give it a name. Now I could call it, uh, maybe I could call it, no, it doesn't like 3x. I could call it x3, and then it'd be happy. All right, a variable name must uh, begin with a, a letter, I guess. Okay, there is one other type of, well, there's two other types of equals. Let me show you just one other one. Uh, there is a, uh, a Boolean toolbar here. And here you see another equal sign. It's a bold equal sign. And the way that you instantiate that one is you press control equal. So we have colon, equal, and control equal. And let me show you what this means. If I say x and then I do control equal, so it's a bold equal, 3, all right? And now I press the equal sign, so I'll press over here, it says 0. What this is doing here is it's actually evaluating the Boolean function is x equal to 3, and in this case it's not. If I were to change my definition from x equals 2 to x equals 3, now uh, the expression x is x equal to 3 evaluates to true. So that's another um, uh, equal sign that you can use. Finally, let me give you one other little uh, use for the Boolean sign. If you are trying to do some evaluation, like just uh, some derivation, you want to show your work within MathCAD. Let's say that I wanted to express this equation right here, 0.7 times v1 minus 0.2 times v2 is equal to 3. The way I would do that is I would say 0.7 times v1 Okay, minus 0 0.2 times v2, and then I'd be tempted to press the equal sign, but it's going to complain about that because these are undefined variables. I haven't defined v1 and v2. And if I did define them and give them values, then when I press the equal sign, it would evaluate it to a numeric value, which I don't want it to do. I just want to put in a, a symbolic equation that's really used just kind of as um, a commentary or a, as annotation. And so to do that, you can use the Boolean equal sign here. All right. 
So if I do control equal, it puts in the bold equal, and now I can type 3. And when I press enter, it doesn't complain. Now if I happen to press the evaluate, in other words, the equal sign at this point, now it's going to complain because it actually now has to uh, test whether this expression on the left is equal to the 3 that's on the right. And it can't evaluate that because it doesn't have values for v1 and v2. But if all you want to do is just, you know, type in some equations that maybe are the intermediate steps to getting to a final result that is ultimately live math, then you can use the Boolean equal sign. Okay, so now to the problem at hand. Let's define g, <clears throat> and I'm going to uh, uh, call it, say g colon, and now I need to enter a matrix. Now I'll bring up the matrix, um, well, the, okay, the matrix toolbar is right here, and I want the matrix um, dialog box, which you can instantiate with the control M. You see here, I'll click on this. What I want is a 2 by 2 press enter and now I can populate these. I'm going to go 0 0.7 times minus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.2 I'm pressing the tab key 1.2 and then I'm done. Notice that this goes green and the reason is that it's telling me here that g is a predefined variable. The reason it's predefined is actually g oops g is a um, is a built-in unit G stands for Gauss, and one Gauss is one ten-thousandth of a Tesla. One of the powerful things about MathCAD is that it has units built into it. And so, for instance, if we were to put units to G, remember G is a conductivity matrix, so it's 1 over resistance. The units of conductivity are Mohs or Siemens. So if I just type S, capital S, after each of these, I'm now giving these entries units such that, and by the way, I can redefine G, but now it no longer means Gauss. So if I type G equal, I don't, I no longer get 10 to the minus 4 Tesla. So if I wanted to preserve Gauss, what I really should do is give this some other name. I'll do G sub 1. The way you do sub subscript is you press the uh, period. Press the period, and it gives you a subscript. All right. Now let's say that I take the inverse of G1. I'm going to press the caret, um, which is... Uh, I don't know if that's in my math here. Uh, yeah, raised to the power there. You see the, I don't know if you see it there, raised <clears throat> the caret sign. So if you forget the shortcut, just play around, with the, hover over the icons on the palette, the various palettes, and you will likely find the shortcut you're looking for. So we want to raise it to the minus one, which means we're taking the inverse. And notice, that not only do we get a numerical value here, but we also get units. The units are now ohms, as we would expect. Okay. Now, before we get the final answer of V1 and V2, we need to define uh, our current I. I'll call it I sub 1, so I dot 1, colon. And again, I'm going to do control M to bring up the matrix uh, dialog. But in this case, I am going to do a uh, two row by 1. And here, I'm going to enter three amps, tab, Two amps. Enter, and I can I can evaluate um, g inverted times i1. I can do that right now if I press enter or I'm sorry equal, it'll evaluate it for me. Or I could also uh, assign this to um, to a variable v1. So I, that's what I'm going to do here. Notice that when I click in here, and I'm pressing the space bar. This is another handy thing you want to know. Spacebar toggles through selecting different portions of an equation. Spacebar is very important when you're trying to select portions of an equation. Uh, the second key that's really important is the insert key. If I press insert right now, you see it toggles between uh, like this blue L that's pointing to the left or pointing to the right. What that tells me is if I were now to do type something in, it's going to add it to the left side. For instance, if I wanted to add something to this, I would press, and I want it to be on the, on the left side, I would press enter it until the L was on the left side, then I'd press plus, and I could put in my, my value here. Of course, it's going to complain. Why does it complain? Ah, it complains because it says this unit, this value has units current, but must have units resistance. 
I guess evidently the operation I'm doing is I'm doing G inverse times 3, which has units of ohms, plus current, which has units of amps, and MathCat is smart enough to know that that won't work. You can't add dissimilar units. Now let me undo this, Control Z. All right. I'm going to select this, do Control C to copy, and then I'm going to come down here and define V sub 1 colon, and I'm going to paste this. All right. I'll delete this. And now I can say V sub 1, and I'll use the equal sign, and I get 5 and 2.5. So that's how you can uh, solve a system of linear equations using uh, MathCAD.